Hi, this is Jill Riley, and I am the Communications Assistant for the Pacific Northwest Conference, and I am excited today to be joined by Anna Carlson from Cascades. How are you, Anna? I'm good. It's great to be here. It's great to talk to you. We were just remarking earlier how it's been a long time since we've seen each other's faces. Tell us a little bit about your family. Yes, I would love to. Uh, I'm married to Mark Carlson, and who also works at Cascades, and we have two kids. Our son, Jacob, is a senior, and we have a freshman daughter, Camilla, who's a freshman in high school. And wow. They both go to the school in town. That's awesome. So how long have you guys lived on the campgrounds now? We moved here in the summer of 2019, so it's been over three years, three and a half years. So this year you've taken on a new role with the camp as the Registration and Covenant Relations Coordinator. Yes. Did I get that all right? You did. You totally, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have several parts to your job. Give us just a brief snapshot of what your job looks like. Yeah, I'd love to. So Registration and Covenant Relations Coordinator means that for a bulk of my job, I cover registration for Cascades programming. And in the summer, that's a, a full, very full encompassing job for all the youth programs and all the family programs that Cascades offers. During the year, that's our occasional retreats that we offer that are Cascades run, ret run retreats. And then um, during the year, also what I do is the covenant relations coordinator piece, which is I'm trying to connect and rebuild relationships with the churches in our conference. Um, and part of that is to be a communicator, let churches know, let pastors know um, events, programming that's happening at Cascades. And then part of that is going to the churches and connecting with them in person. And then, um, Another example of what I do is I sit on both the Youth Commission and the Family Children and Family Commission representing Cascades to those commissions. And then the third part of what I do is I get to work with our interns. We do have several interns that come mid-year from summer to summer, basically. And I get to work with them in the area of like their spiritual development. We have a small group and I get to facilitate that with them. That's great. That's great. That's that's a lot in that hat, Anna. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's three strands to it. Uh, and it does work out, but it is a, it's a broad spectrum. For sure. Yeah, definitely. So let's talk a little bit about church visits. When you come yeah. to a church, what are you available to do? I, my, my biggest priority is to connect with the church and to share about Cascades. Um, I want churches to know what Cascades is for them, that we are their camp and conference center, that uh, an individual in a church or a family, a youth can come to camp um, to our register for any of our events that we have, that we run. Um, but I also want churches to know that we're here for them uh, for leadership retreats or church retreats. And so trying to just communicate that. And then also for pastors that like, if they would like to take a pastoral retreat and um, look into that, then those are the things I want to help communicate and um, connect with churches about. And then the other is that we are ministry partners and wanting churches to know that we are praying for them. And um, we would love prayers for camp as well, but that we are, we're all part of the Pacific Northwest Conference and we want to support each other um, to help it, the kingdom of God in our region. Excellent. So yeah. when you come to a church, you can set up a table of information, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. and what else can you do? That's definitely what I do. I'll, I would love to have a display area so that I can um, put some stuff out for people to take and just be able to have an opportunity and a place to talk with people. Um, I often stand up in front of the church and maybe share for just a few minutes about maybe updates of Cascades or what Cascades is in general. Um, I did preach, I guess, recently for the first time, but I don't know that I would say that that's something I should be doing all the time at church. Right. Well, excellent. Well, how can pastors get a hold of you if they want to have you come and share about upcoming, upcoming events? They can email me if they can, um, or they can call uh, okay. Cascades. So those are, either of those ways are great. 
Um, I try to send out a monthly email to churches and it might hit the pastor's email. It might hit the general office email, though I've tried to include both uh, mm -hmm. just because of to have more overlap. But yeah, the pastors can reach out to me individually through email or by calling. And we will put those links down below um, this video so you can so you can find them. Um, give us a little bit of what you're excited about in the upcoming camp season because it's February, but it sure comes, seems like it comes on fast yeah. probably. Yeah, it's, it's like just around the corner. So I'm excited about a lot of things. One is we are offering for the first time this year what we're calling work and worship weekends. And this last year we offered a volunteer day for people to come out and we had really good response to coming and helping on the grounds and so we're offering two of those weekends one is geared towards young adults but really like 20 somethings and then one is intergenerational and um, all ages uh, but it was, we decided that instead of just coming for the day like we offer you could come for the weekend we'll feed you um, we'd love your help on saturday for some certain projects around Cascades, and then we'll have worship at night. Um, so we're looking forward to those. We have a couple of those planned. Wonderful. We have, of course, our summer events, both youth camps and family camps. Those are very fun and exciting. Now, we do have our big update this year is we acquired an adventure course that is going to be installed this summer, before the summer, the spring, and it should be ready by the summer. We're Hoping. And this is going to be a more of a multi tiered, like a ropes course, but with different adventure um, activities at it. So, I'm very excited amazing. about that because that expands on the zip line that we have and the climbing, the existing climbing tower we have. Um, so, another opportunity, another adventure opportunity at camp. And I'm really excited about that. That's great. Have you, have you tried it out yet? No, because right now everything, all of its contents are in a container that's ah. shipped here and they are getting ready to be installed, put together and installed. Well, we would appreciate video maybe of you trying out the course <laughs> when it gets oh. installed. What do you think about we'll that? See. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anna, It'll thank very you so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. We will put uh, information down so people can get in contact with you and churches should just know that they can be expecting a uh, contact from you maybe and, uh, and hoping, yeah. for, hoping for an invitation to come and share about this amazing resource that our conference has. That would be wonderful. Thanks so much, Joe. Thank you, Anna. Camp and Convention Center. Hi, Cat. <laughs> Sorry, let me try that again.